out of major developments in the Middle East where the fighting between Israel and Lebanon could escalate into a new phase of that war. The rising tensions come as world leaders continue their meetings at the United Nations. Linda Schmidt is outside the UN with the very latest. Linda. Yeah, first of all, good evening to both of you. And today, the Israeli army is signaling that it could be preparing for a possible ground invasion in Lebanon. This after Hezbollah fired rockets today on Tel Aviv. Hezbollah once again launching rockets into Israel, but for the first time in history, the militant group firing on Tel Aviv, forcing millions of Israelis to seek shelter. Thank God the missile was successfully intercepted by IDF's David Sling aerial defense system. Israel saying it retaliated, striking a rocket launcher in southern Lebanon, where Hezbollah is based. Immediately following the missile attack, the launcher in southern Lebanon was struck and destroyed. This was a Hezbollah long-range advanced missile fired indiscriminately towards millions of our people. Israeli military officials say they will continue attacking Hezbollah in Lebanon until it is safe for Israelis to return to their homes near the Israel-Lebanon border. And a warning coming from the head of Israel's northern military command that a possible ground operation could be carried out. The continued airstrikes by both sides coming one day after President Biden addressed the U.N. General Assembly, urging a ceasefire in Gaza. The president also reaffirming unwavering support for Ukraine as its nearly three-year war with Russia rages on. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky today addressing the world leaders, saying a peace proposal is not achievable if it does not restore all of Ukraine's territory. How Russia, a country more than 20 times larger than Ukraine in territory, still wants even more land more land which is insane and is seizing it day by day while wanting to destroy its neighbor now getting back to israel here on what's going on in the middle east israeli prime minister benjamin netanyahu is scheduled to address the u.n general assembly here in new york on friday what he's going to be talking about he wants to put pressure on the world body to put pressure on hamas to release the 101 remaining hostages. They have been held captive for almost a year. Back inside to you. All right, thanks, Linda.